Welcome to Auto Instruct. In today's video, we're doing a review of the PLX Devices Kiwi 3 OBD2 scanner, which sends your car's diagnostic information to iPhones, iPads, Androids, and PCs. And we're doing that in conjunction with the OBD Auto Doctor iOS application. Now we've already plugged the Kiwi 3 in, so we're going to go ahead and launch the application, show it on the screen, and show you how it works. So upon launching the application, we end up with the connecting screen. And when you give it a few moments, you, the device will connect and initialize the adapter and you'll start to see the vehicle diagnostics information. So give it a few moments. If you have any troubles, I suggest starting the vehicle and unplugging and plugging the Kiwi 3 scanner and you should connect automatically. Uh, there's no need to connect the Kiwi 3 in the Bluetooth settings. So here we are with the vehicle connected and you can already see the intake air temperature at 52 degrees Celsius and the engine cooling temperature at 67 degrees Celsius. Now these metrics can be changed to Imperial or Fahrenheit um, if required. So we're gonna go ahead and start the car now and get some live stats going. So upon starting the car, you can already see the engine RPMs in the green bar in the middle of the screen. And this page essentially shows you the major statuses of the vehicle. If I head over into the trouble codes tab, we can see if there's any codes on the vehicle, so things like engine lights. So right now, we're all good with this vehicle. There is no engine lights, which is great to see. On the next page, we can see our inspections. So this shows you the readiness monitors of the vehicle. And as you can see, these are all being completed and have all passed. Now this is where things get a little more interesting cool. On this page is every sensor that the engine is transmitting via OBD2 through the Kiwi 3 and into this iPhone application, Android uh, OBD Auto Doctor. Um, and as we see through here, we can see coolant temperatures, engine RPMs, speed sensors, temperatures, fuel pressures. There's lots, lots of information to see. Um, control module voltages, the ambient air temperature, 28 degrees, 29 degrees now. Um, throttle actuator. So give it a rev and you can set move. And the battery voltage. Now with all these statistics, you can actually go in and graph them. So if I find a nice one such as the engine RPM, over time, the application here will actually graph the engine RPM. So as I rev it, you'll see it change. And so it will continuously graph the RPM as you're going along, which can be useful for trouble, trouble solving some applications and seeing things like how steady the idle is in this example. And we can also have a look at another, uh, another value to look at, such as the fuel rail pressure. And again, with revving the vehicle, we can see that jump up to 7,000 kPa, and then flat lines again at around 4,000 kPa. So this is essentially the bulk of the application here, OBD Auto Doctor. Um, it's a very good application, does exactly what you need, and it also enables you to reset trouble codes and check engine lights, as you can see with the red button here. Um, but this vehicle's got no codes to show, so we won't be able to test that feature. I can confirm it does work. Um, we have used it on other vehicles in the past. And whilst we're driving, you can actually see things like um, the speed. Um, and one of the really interesting ones I find with that is to actually show the vehicle speed sensor straight off the wheels, um, as you can see here at the top of the screen. And that will show you the real uh, guaranteed speed sensor, uh, reading from the speed sensor, whereas the cluster will show something slightly different as it's uh, a little bit of a faked value, as the cluster will always overread the true wheel speed value. Um, so it's great to see what exactly is, let's say 100 kilometers per hour or 60 miles per hour um, on your vehicle, um, which might reflect something like 103 kilometers per hour on the actual cluster. So you can get exactly on the speed limit. Um, and yeah, so that's essentially the OBD Auto Doctor app. Um, I highly recommend it, it's very good. They've also got really good support if, you've ever, if, you, ever had any, if you ever have any troubles. Um, and it works really well with the Kiwi 3 uh, from PLX devices. Thanks for watching our video. And for more guides, tutorials, and products, head over to auroinstruct.com.au. Thanks for watching.